Welcome back to Let's Try Roleplay. This is episode 7 of The Great Games. I'm James, and I'll be playing no one, because I run this shit show. Joining me is Connor, as Tokrin Reldegos, he used to be a Jedi, you know. Robin, as Luna Erebos, who's a runaway from a planet we haven't named yet. And Henry, who plays Uma Nakatima, a man with a sad, sad backstory. <laughs> Previously on Let's Try Roleplay, the final arena battle, our heroes face off against an eerily familiar band of mercenaries. Known to the galaxy as the heroes of Rover's Ledge, Isothane, Thulma, and Noon were a formidable trio whose skills in battle were rivaled only by their propensity to cause mischief and generally cock about. Having won the previous cycle's great games, they have once again returned to prove their superiority and claim another favour from the great Hondo Onaka. But it looks as though they have finally met their match. Their battle armour, stealth tech and flamethrower were no match for the crew of the Eclipse, and thus comes the end of their story. But the story of our heroes continues. Having successfully completed the arena challenge, our heroes will progress onto the second of the great games, whatever that may be. Congratulations! You have completed the first round! Those of you that stand before us are the best here. Although, for now. So you guys are stood back in the main room <laughs> mm. with Hondo stood at the front in next to his throne. Yes. And all of his sort of close guard next to him. And the, the crowd that were watching you in the arena seem to be sat around you and this place is overflowing with people now. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. They're mixing the... Uh, like contestants and the it's kind of like people. so you guys are all now sort of stood in the center of this hall it's big enough that there's like a bit there's a there's a decent gap between you guys stood in the center and um and, and the, the 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 crowd that sort of stood at the uh, or that stood and sat at the tables around you mm. you are now one well you guys are now three of the or four if you include woody of we the do. 50 teams. How dare you ins insinuate that we don't? <laughs> hey, droids have rights. Oh, yeah. But you guys are sort of the, the last, one of the last now of the 50 contenders that are left. Which, um, if you look around, you can see some of the faces that you've seen before. Kip and Banner, they're, they're, they're still yes. around. Do you want to try fun. that again? Kip and Banner? Yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. almost said Banning from yeah, the last yeah. campaign. Yeah. Uh -huh. It was Banya. like Kip and Banning. Bang. Uh, I thought I got away with it. <laughs> but you can, you can see them. Um, you can see some of the other contenders um, that you've you've met. The the uh, sisters of Dathomir are, la are the last mm. sisters oh, of Dathomir. They're enough. still there. Mm -hmm. really um, and <laughs> the um, the Wookiee chaps that you met earlier on. Oh yeah, they're, they're still the there. The nineteen fifties Wookies. Everybody seems to be a bit roughed up now. They've got some some people have got new blaster marks on their armor, <laughs> and some people they, look a little bit injured. The main but, guy called Fleece Lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you come up with that on the day? Know. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm like so pain. happy. That's so good. <laughs> but um, uh, do they come back as soon as everyone chatting? And then like yes. they come up to them and say, "Please lightning." I can't remember the words of the police lightning. That was also, I don't think, the right tune. I don't think that was the song. <laughs> yeah, I think you were starting on the whole A five O theme tune. It was there. really close, but like you know, when people are trying to avoid copyright by just sort of yeah. dropping notes. <laughs> so yeah, you guys have stood around in this in this quite large group of of, of the contenders that are left. Um, at this point, sort of Hondo, Hondo sort of waves towards a commentator who starts to walk towards him, and he gives his last little comments of, This uh, next competition is surely to get your heart racing. And I, tur I, turn to the I turn to the closest guy that like, we don't know who he is, and I very loud go, It's a race, I assume. No. I assume it's a race then, because that's pretty on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> guy looks at you like, 
fuck, man? And then, like, sort of goes back to his wee group of companions. <laughs> Turn to other people, like, it's a race? <laughs> Wait, why did everyone laugh? I'm assuming. Did, <laughs> did everyone else know this? <laughs> you knew this. Did I? You loved it. Yeah. You had insider information. Oh, yeah. 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 Someone, someone gave us a little... Umar forgot. That it was yes. a pod race. At this point, because I was going to suggest... Umar's pretending that he didn't get the ins- inside uh, information. Uh, being like, what? what? I'm so surprised. Which... <laughs> That doesn't help us. Do. It's just looking competent. <laughs> we should resolve our destiny points. Oh. I got two dark side. Oh, oh. shit bag. One dark side. One dark side. One light side. Oh. Okay, so that's four dark side yeah. and one light side. Right. Tell you what, I'm currently drinking. Go- oh, fuck me. Yeah, I should just go home. Galactic. I am home. <laughs> 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 I'm drinking Galactic Pale Ale. Go to your room. Got no idea who it's by, but it's the original Stormtrooper spacecraft beer, and it's good. What percentage is it? Four point two. Four point two. Okay. Which, is pat, which is their hit rate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is interesting. So, um, cool. I, I thought it said um, nine point two, and I was like, ooh. No, they can't hit that often. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, ten yeah. percent hit rate ain't bad, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, at this point, Henry, you mentioned to me earlier on that you wanted to spend some XP. Yes, I spend some XP. I spend one on, because we're doing some combat, yeah. um, I spend one on my combat abilities. Mm-hmm. So I get um, some bonuses when I'm in engaged with multiple opponents. Yeah. Um, and also I spent some on my uh, control um, for, your uh, force. for my force abilities. Force. Um, so I can now apply my force enhance. Oh, is it to, enhance? Is it not move? Okay. Uh, Enhance to the coordination skill and piloting planetary skill, which oh, okay. may the, come in handy. Which probably is part of your insider information. Yeah, I'm going to say I'm it just is. Just think about my, my piloting. Yeah. <laughs> have well, you guys... I, I, I have a I have an idea of how I want to put it into. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, Robin and Connor, have you guys wanted to spend any XP now? I uh, did. You did. What yeah. have you spent it on? Can I borrow your tree thing? Again? <laughs> I don't have my my own. Which tree do you would you move, like? Move, move. You want the move? That's move. Moving well. on. Um, I, I spent like to move it, move it. XP on my movie force power. So okay. um, I bought some control, so the cool. force user can hurl objects to damage targets, making a ranged combat check uh, combined with a move power check. And I also <clears throat> bought strength, so I can force move some bigger things. So what silhouette will you be up to now with the move? Um, it says, I think at first you've got silhouette zero, so it's things of about backpack size. And then mm-hmm. each strength rank you have. I just have one strength rank. So you strength, can move up to silhouette strength. one, which yeah. I think is a person. Silhouette one's person. Yeah. And yeah. I've got range. I've got <clears throat> one range already. Oh, I've got one magnitude. Sorry. Which increases the range. No, range. Sorry, I've got... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I've got range. Sweet. Okay, so I think normally it's within. It'll say what the normal range normally is. Normally short range, I think. And how many range ones have you got? One. One. So you can move up to medium range. So you basically have a medium ranged short, uh, uh, Rock light, thrower. ranged light uh, attack where you can even throw a person if you want. That'd be fun. Which is pretty helpful if you're near a cliff. <gasps> yeah. I've had an idea. So you've become all round more powerful with your move. So you can throw people. You could throw Tokrin onto other people's pod races. See, part of me was thinking, can I like throw people off there? The like, like you, <laughs> pilot? Nope. <laughs> like, the thing is, what happens if you miss? <laughs> I haven't thought that. Really. I, hadn't, I hadn't got that. Tokrin dies. I hadn't got that far yet. So, I love so, that Tokrin's not had any word in this. He's just being thrown. No, I wasn't going to throw him. I was going to throw people <laughs> off theirs. It's like the end of The Incredibles. Throw me! Or I was going to throw like rocks at people. That's pretty good. That's pretty helpful. So if this is pod racing that we're, yes. we're doing... Mm-hmm. Now, this, now, now this, this is well, pod racing. I should announce to the listeners, because it hasn't been announced to your characters yet, this is going to be a pod race. But we, we did speak about that in a previous episode, actually. Maybe. When you yeah. got your inside information. But this, we are going to be going into a pod race, yes. Fine tuning. When repairing system strain on a starship or vehicle, repair one additional system strain per rank uh, of fine tuning. Ooh, so you've taken that. I can do it. I can also take rem- repairing hull trauma. What's hull trauma? Hull trauma is when you it's t- not like. It's the trauma you get of going to hull. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tokrin just comes out and one day and was like, fuck. This is there in black that everyone fucking, hates hull. Everyone right, hates hull is, anyway. It is not a city of culture. <laughs> Did it win City of Culture? I can't remember. You'd rather, well, get, you'd rather get rammed by an actual hull. Than I mean, to go to hull. Mm. 
what? Te- according to E.T., Earth is part of the Star Wars galaxy, <laughs> so you could go to Hull, but no. Um, I would say, if I was to give you a little bit of a hint, I would say System Shane's probably more helpful here, if you're, if you're debating between the two. I could do both. The bull. Well, maybe, right, I'm going to take at least fine tuning for now. Which is the strain. Which is the strain okay. boy. Strainy cool. boys. Yes. I, I will say that once the race starts, I won't let you suddenly buy it. Oh, I've suddenly got better at hull trauma <laughs> and start fixing shit. <laughs> oh, but it's just, I haven't, I'm, I'm going to continue reading um, and stuff all over. So. Cool, the carry on. Yeah, I've given each of you guys the, the rules list. Right. So, yeah, okay, so at this point, commentator comes up and he appears to be holding a bag of some sort. Holding. Oh my god. So gosh. I just want to say top, currently top top of the news for Hull um, when you look it up in Google. Snow is set to hit England. Here's what the Met Office has to say about Hull. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. Give up. Get Guys, up. it's okay. Hull is gone. <laughs> We've still- we did it! We're We're evacuating we did it! We did it! Global There's no snow! Guys, global warming was a success. We've defeated Hull. We can, we can take it all back. Put the carbon dioxide back in where it came from. Worth a dinosaur sacrifice. We overhauled them. <laughs> <laughs> I did not anticipate that this episode was going to be about making fun of Hull. <laughs> you never do, really. <laughs> but. Shitting <laughs> hell. I've not got a word in Edgeway. It's like, I'm being hauled hostage. <laughs> right, anyway. Oh, hold your horses, man. At this point. <laughs> Go to Hull. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to start saying that. <laughs> Go to Hull, how dare you. <laughs> how very dare you. Like, relevant to that thing, I'll do it when Hull freezes over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit. Poor Hull. If hitting. you're from Hull, we're sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we're just sorry, not about the jokes. Just, just oh, <laughs> Get out while you can, really. Have you been victimised by Hull? <laughs> No. I have. <laughs> oh, that made me t- that tickled me. Right. Okay. At this point, commentator comes up, clutching <laughs> a bag. <laughs> holding like a bag. Holding. He's holding a bag. Um, <laughs> a satchel. Um, and he's got. <laughs> he's got this bag. And he comes up as, as oh, what's his uh, the magnificent? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> so round two of the competition will be a pod race. Um, you will all be split up into several uh, several groups of eight races each. Don't do the maths on 50 divided by eight. I don't know if that works. That doesn't work. It, it doesn't. Doesn't, <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> There's one person being left out. <laughs> two the of ma- you. The maths doesn't work. You have two, wait, 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 two wait. groups of nine. One, That's uh, two nine. of them would be... Um, groups of ten? Two, two groups of nine. So you have two groups of nine. And then... Two, mostly groups of eight. And then <laughs> four you groups just have of eight. Two be... Look, I'm a commentator, not a bloody maths teacher. I didn't go to Hull University. <laughs> it's got to stop. <laughs> well, maybe you did and I explained actually, it. I know nothing about Hull. I didn't even I genuinely, it I know the name and it's a dumb name, but... Could be not, could, right, look, it, it could be okay. Be we, are, we do apologise for any insult caused. Anyway, no, the... <laughs> So commentator comes up and says, um, the first group of eight shall be named now. We shall have the crew of the eclipse. Defeat <laughs> us. As the crow goes wild. <laughs> was that Woody that, or that was you? Just, you, do, <laughs> you do get like, like a, a pretty decent yeah. applause. You get a pretty decent okay, applause. Okay, okay. Yeah. I stand up. I would like to I mean, like, like kind of turn around to everyone and like be like, yeah, yeah. He, makes the, clap, clap. he makes the addition actually of saying that. Um, Can we charge for autographs? Huh? Can we charge for autographs? I feel charge. like fixing the ship. I feel <laughs> like it, you need right, the, the thing I don't get about this, this is a little bit like in Star Wars Episode 1 of the pod race when they announced that like Anakin Skywalker is like moving up the field and then it shows this shot of like thousands of people in the crowd all getting up and cheering. I'm like, how do they, how the fuck do they know who this guy is? Yeah, yeah. Like, why are they all they've supporting all got, they've him? All got those, oh, why they know Anakin. Yeah, why are they supporting him? It's, you know, he's a kid. So everyone's like, yeah, Anakin's doing for well. For the same Who reason, for the exact same reason that kids not doing anything that impressive always get to the final of Britain's Got Talent. Exactly. Because they're a kid. You can't let them through. <laughs> <laughs> First row now, you. Fuck off. But he, yeah. he, he adds on to the end of you guys getting this applause. He says, the defeaters of last year's champions. And you get an even oh, bigger applause at this point. Okay. Not everybody obviously saw your fight. There were so many rounds I, I would off. like to then, um, like, kind of, so having been pointing at the crowd, 
and then he says the feet is of last year's mm-hmm. champions I give like fucking daggers with my eyes to all the other contestants I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, kill you yeah. up on the screen sort of like there's several screens <laughs> above um um uh, above where Hondo is yes. and where, where commentator is stood and you can see sort of like highlights of your matches being brought oh, up okay. a couple of them of Tokrin going down um, well more than a couple there's like a montage of all the times you hit the ground <laughs> from different angles <laughs> It's got I, it fails I don't know if you've ever seen the YouTube video everybody hit do the flop. Yeah, um, no. it's like that. I was going to say Eye of the Tiger's playing because every time yes. we revived him, he like, <laughs> <laughs> sets up every time. <laughs> um, yes, at this point he then says, um, he says um, the 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 other members of this round. So I actually just realised that the maths won't be quite right because uh-huh. you guys are obviously. The way that I'm going to run this is that some of these pod races will have twos in them. Mm-hmm. So you guys are obviously a team of four, which means you will have two pod races Ooh. with two people in each pod race. Ooh. So obviously those numbers will be completely So just wrong. one of us has to win for the whole team to qualify. I'll explain that as, well, like we, as, can't as win we go on, sort of. But um, next up, he says, he, um, <clears throat> he's, he, he then comes up and says... Um, also in this group will be Wendell and Axel, and you get another sort of quieter but bit decent uh, crowd like cheering as these two guys who look they're sort of I think they're both transdotians and they're these massive guys and they look about probably nearly seven foot tall each and look like they probably struggle to get into a pod racer let alone race one but they're both absolutely massive these guys are named after the well the crocodile I swam with in Australia and the crocodile that was in the cage next to him who were both fucking massive so I named them when I was in Australia when I was doing a lot of the naming that's cool um, you see each because you've walked forwards to the sort of front of this group now uh-huh. as you've um, been called up and he these two have come and joined you uh, next next up we also have Deck a man of the Clone Wars and as what's up this is a character I believe Luna actually eyed earlier without si- sort of having any idea who oh, it was I? didn't name it a person that you recognised but couldn't quite put your finger on it's it a shame what happened a man in old ragged destroyed clone armour walks yeah, forward yeah 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 and oh. Tokrin you recognise it as an ageing clone from the Clone Wars ah. Next. Really, I'm really sad that James missed my great joke what was it um, I was just like under my breath like, it's a shame about what happened to Ant <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Why have we? Why are all our That's are really all, good. all like of it. our jokes are like primo British, <laughs> <laughs> primo British ITV news? <laughs> Specifically, yeah, we're sponsored by ITV. Yeah. If if you're not so so big, thick daddy, um, go go and watch Ant and Dex Saturday Night Takeaway because it's the wildest TV experience of your life. Oh, yeah. it's, really, it's, really it's on ITV, it's really intergalactic not. television. No, it's wild because <laughs> nothing happens, but it's still good. It's been going for about ten. No, watch Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. Yeah, that is a good. wild oh, ride. Oh, yeah, the earlier seasons. seasons earlier people, seasons. They actually made people do some gross shit. Yeah, yeah like eat kangaroo new pet testicles. I don't know why that's nice. <laughs> um, nice. We also have Klep Samidar. <laughs> and out of the crowd walks a tiny little Jawa. Oh, who no. has a belt of what you sort of recognise, Tokken, I suppose, as really custom made, randomly made weapons and grenades and stuff that look like they've been made out of junk. Fuck. Can he be in our team? Like a, a man after your own no. heart or a Jawa? We're gonna a kill Jawa him. after my own heart. I don't yeah. want to kill him. I'm gonna he kill seems him. so cute. Oh, he seems him. fucking lethal. And are his eyes red? Great. His eyes are red because of I can and I. He's a Sith. This is a thing that I saw recently uh, that I was telling Connor about earlier. I saw one of the toys for an off world Jawa mm. and it had red eyes. And mm. I wonder if there was a mistake at the toy company, they just made a whole bunch of Jawas with red eyes and went. Oh fuck it! Just say they're off world. Mm. <laughs> but um, could be his friend. No, he could, he could be such. A, imagine him on our team. Him on the ship. He's so cute sitting there building bombs. I'm so <laughs> <proud>. <laughs> I Which to... roughly translates to what the fuck is wrong Isn't with it... your washing machine? <laughs> 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 He'd be so great. Think of all the bombs. And how can build. I make one? <laughs> He'd be such a wee terror. There's one thing we do need: is more explosives. Exactly. <laughs> we also have a crowd favorite. Geralt McNug. I'm sorry, what? This <laughs> is a character. I will. I will admit. I turned whilst making these NPCs to my girlfriend and said, 
I need a name for a character. Do you want to make a character? She was like, I'll make a character. At the time, she's been playing The Witcher a lot, right? So it's it's Geralt. Oh, right. <laughs> McNug. As a nugget. Because carrot. she loves nugs. She loves nugs. I thought you nuggets. said carrots, McNug. No, it's not. It's Geralt McNug. Geralt. I think it's Gerald, but I'm going to make it Geralt because I think she may have just, I may have mis- misspelled that. But it's, it's Geralt McNug. Um, just because I know she listens to this and she'll want to hear that her wonderful character was read out and my god has it got some primo primo backstory <laughs> it's got some great shit he's a cool guy mm. an extremely skilled and stealthy spy oh in his fur in his off time he in works his fur. In a, oh yeah this in is his, good this is good and as far as this this is a person see see because she's only recently started playing D D, right so you'd expect it to be sort of that a character that's very good at things and quite serious but she plays it. She's created a character like she's been playing D&D for six years and got bored. In his off time, he works in a fast food restaurant chain for staff discount. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fired last week for eating 1,483 nuggets, bantha nuggets, in, on, in one sitting. Uh, he has now Who been big forced... big is a bantha nugget? Oh, probably... No, I, normal size, you get a lot out of a bantha. You get a lot out of the bantha, bantha. Yeah. yeah okay. But one big one. It's so like factory farm one. chickens. Factory farm banthers are fucking There's one huge. big one, which is always called the Lucky Nugget. And then he's obviously got, he's got an Irish accent. <laughs> and he's bad at names. Can't remember anyone's name. Can't remember his own. Yeah, but he's been forced to go into this competition because he's got he no job. Can't remember there is Carrot or Gerald or yeah. Gerald. McDuck. And he's, he's hit, hit on hard times. Is he homeless? He's a bit... Bit homeless. Can we adopt Lottie, him as well? Technically, we're homeless. I want to adopt we everyone on this thing except those fucking mm-hmm. trans oceans. We, we, we basically live in our car. <laughs> Just a big At least the car intergalactic has a bed car. And a washing machine. Well, it's like you live in an RV. Yeah. Or, or a boat. Uh, no, a houseboat's pretty good. And then. Yeah, a houseboat would be good, actually. This, mm. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. Right. Um, this is a good one. Um, also, from Hondo's own crew, we have. Mwalo! I'm sorry, what? Mwalo! No, I just said my own name. Mwalo! 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 The, the notes I have down for him is he's the unlucky member of Hondo's team forced to compete this year. <laughs> um, he shouldn't have eaten Hondo's sandwich. Oh, Aww. fuck, he is regretting his decision. <laughs> I hope it was a good sandwich. Awesome. Was it labelled? Was, was it in the fridge and was it labelled? It wasn't in the fridge. It was on, I mean, he was just really hungry and it was just there. Hondo was giving a big speech. It'd been going on for a while. It was on his, like, arm of his chair. It was oh, a risky was movie. He tried, to, he tried to, like, pass it off to somebody else. But, you know, there's cameras everywhere. Mm. You know. Well, he's just a tit. Someone, a sandwich right someone caught him. him. I personally, look, stealing a sandwich... Death penalty. <laughs> that is a shame. That is a shame. That he stole the sandwich. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And last, he couldn't enjoy it properly. Yeah. And last, but certainly most, not the uh, uh, fuck. And is last, thing, and certainly thing, most least. Most least. <laughs> it's my first day in this commentating business. My audition is not going well. And I really <laughs> don't like this guy. <laughs> I just feel so bad for Mwalu. <laughs> it's I've come on hard times since narrating the Clone Wars. I just feel a bit bad because I ate the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Shit. Um, and last, but most certainly not least, our crowd's most favourite competitor, Cad Bane. Oh, At this point, you guys get the loudest applause that uh, has happened so far. Shit. Uh, this, uh, and you... um. A uh, blue-coloured alien that you may recognise, Tokrin, from uh, the Clone Wars. Although Can I roll? Luna has probably told you that he's knocking about here somewhere. Yeah, we we had we've had the talk. Mm-hmm. Can we've I really can chat. I roll to see if I know who he is? Uh, you can. <laughs> but Why you... the fuck would you? <laughs> <laughs> because I used to work for Huts. True, he may have come across Cad Bane. Mm-hmm. What year were you born? And like in terms of like in in Star Wars kind of. Um, Wait, like when were you? You're, when were you you're 18, 19. You're I'm talking. 17 now. One or two years before Order 66. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I got for Underworld Knowledge three successes. Three, three or four. Actually, oh, three. so my notes. for Underworld Knowledge I got three successes. Do you want to roll it against um, two purple dice? My Still got three successes. Sweet. My but notes. two dis- two disadvantages. Two disadvantages. Can those okay. disadvantages be, be that I really know who he is and I'm really scared? Yes, cool. yes. Uh, which will give you... Um, that nerve-wrackingness will give you a disadvantage on, on your my first, first... That's fine. First check within this race because you're a bit worried. Robin, go ahead. 
No, I was just going to say that my notes from my previous talk with him last time um, just says, Dick Ward, going to kill for dad. Kill for dad, nice. Kill for good. dad. So there's a vengeance there. That's I'm nice. going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. That's a good, it's a good sentiment. Talk green and you look. Kill for dad. And, um, <laughs> Earl then, uh, yeah, Underworld, and I got one uh, threat. One threat. Say that you, you've heard the name, but you can't put a face to it at okay. all. Um, probably you don't... You really don't know who he is and probably don't take him that seriously. Pro- you, you've not got that knowledge of him to be that scared. Um, but all I know is that I, I, Luna's been like... Yeah, he, I mean, walks, guys he walks forward, Luna, and he makes sort of eye contact with you and gives like a nod of his hat in a really cocky way, having had that conversation he with you. He does everything really slowly. And yes. It's really annoying. It's and really he awkward. He doesn't talk at this point because it's really difficult. And <laughs> <laughs> I, I lean over to talk and I'm like, hey, we should probably just run away. I never come back. I just glare at him. Just, just a solid. He's You're glaring at me. At... <laughs> no, sorry. Because of this guy. Scared the shit out of sorry. me. <laughs> I just, I mean, tips as we had. I just. I am not Cad Bane. I merely yeah. channel. Yeah. I, I, I saw, I saw get no of Adam and just like tap my gun. Just yeah. like a nod. So yeah, I lean. He turns, he turns forwards and, and concentrates at the front. Now at this point, commentator says, "So for these races of." Are... Wonderful leader, Hondo, has given forward many pod racers for us, our competitors, to use. Uh, a chance will be given for modifications, if you so dare. What? I didn't, I'm not going to lie, I didn't understand a word of what you just said. You're basically going to get given a pod racer, and there's going to be a chance for you to modify it. If okay. You want. Cool. This, of course, is part of our lucky dip. Cadbane, please not come not forward. I like the sound of a lucky dip. Hmm? I do not like the sound of a lucky, <laughs> a lucky dip. So at this point, Cad Bane walks forwards. I also can I imagine my hand putting this hand instead of the bag, trying to pull out a pod, an entire pod racer. Yeah, <laughs> an entire pod racer. <laughs> um, at this point, he walks forwards and um, puts his hand into the bag. And loses his hand. Great story. It's a bag of fucking holding. It's a mimic. <laughs> <laughs> He puts his hand into the into the bag and um, pulls out what appears to be a small metal disc. Oh. He then flicks it to the floor. It catches and then projects a hologram quite large in the room that everybody can see. <coughs> and what is shown in front of him, the uh, commentator says, Ah, yes! The Color Pondrant Plug F Mammoth! This, if you've ever seen episode one, is this... Here's a picture of it here. Oh, it's Sebulba's. It's Sebulba's yeah. pod racer, which is... As you might know, Luna, being quite interested in ships and piloting, uh, maybe having seen some pod racing before, uh-huh. maybe you've got like an interest in it from when you were your, your, your da. This is probably one of the best pod racers Shit. out there. It's a really good balance of not being the fastest, but also having quite good restrained handling with it as well. Uh, but it's, it's a fucking resistant ship as well. It can take a beating. Yeah. Um, so it's a really, really good ship to have. At this point, can everybody give me a vigilance check? Mm-hmm. When I say this, I sort of mumble a whole bunch of curse against, words like fucking. Fuck. Hell yeah. Against what? Against two purple. Is that fair? In. I got three successes. Okay. And a threat. Okay. Uh, success and advantage. Two successes and two threats. At this point, all of you see. Hondo wink to Cad Bane and Cad Bane give a slight head tilt back uh, as he walks back down into the group. Oh, can't wait to see what's in store for us. I mean, I, he's, already, <laughs> he, he, he's already said that he quite likes us. We're going to go down there. We're going to get... Sidle, can I sidle on up to Cad... Oh, sidle such a weird word. Sidle. Can, I, <laughs> <laughs> can I saddle him? No, no. I just kind of... I, I kind of want to kind of go stand, sort of stand beside him and just like... You know, between him trying to think what... what, what you can. Is. You can. At this point, he goes... The crew of the Eclipse, please come forwards. I step forward. Just I'm, give him daggers as you walk No, up. I mumble something along the lines of like, I just want to be like, oh, didn't realise you were such a coward. And then like walk away. Why? What? Why? <laughs> it's good. It's good. It, just, just you go. don't see any visible impact on him, but you, can, you, you know for a fact that he heard you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but right. you, so you guys walk up. Please select your two pilots. I step forward. I step forward as well. Right, cool. At this point, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I look at Woody and like just like, I, I mean, Tokrin, Tokrin, thumbs. <laughs> he, he, he looks. He probably. He looks. 
he just says, Probably for the best, you can't pilot a pod racer when you're unconscious! <laughs> <laughs> How did the crowd react to that? <laughs> it's a good laugh, there's another compilation like meme video. <laughs> like a Vine video. It's got like hit markers and like... <laughs> boo, 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 boo. Oh, fucking horns! Fuck off! Going forward, we're like, can we get a copy of that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Um, at this point, Luna and Uma, can mm-hmm. you please roll a d6 each for me to assign the pod racer you'll receive when you put your hand in the bag? Got a one and hit the mic. Right, okay. If you just pass me that book mm-hmm. there, I will book. let you know what pod races you have received. So, Uma, you receive what is known as a BT310 th- uh, Quadra. Oh yeah, my, a, my favourite pod racer. <laughs> I know most it these, well. Most of these may have been seen in episode one. I'm not entirely sure, but this this pod racer mm-hmm. is uh, one with four engines mm-hmm. and a cross X uh, plasma thing holding them together. Ooh, the one that um like nearly eats. I think it nearly eats. Um, no, Anakin kills it somehow in it's episode. Sebulba's. One. No, it's not. not Sebulba's Sebulba. the one that's like a cross. It's got like Sebulba's actually got two engines. That yeah, they're just, oh, just L shaped. Really it's it's got, got like four, four big old engines, and there's a bit where I, th- I can't. It may I think have been that, or one. the guy who blows up on the starting line in episode one. It, I'm not entirely sure, but it's it's, cool. it's 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 here. Mm. It says that it's get, it's got built for. F- Straight line speed, very bad to manoeuvre. Mm. So you can see that it's got a speed of six, higher than most of the other ones that have got five. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's got a handling a minus two, so it's quite difficult to, to, to handle. Uh, I'll give you the rest of the statistics for you to note down in a second. Luna, with three, you get what's known as a CR-17 Incendia 3. Okay. It looks to be a very... You'll have to Google the picture of it because it doesn't have one here. But it seems to have a very new... Um, be, be a very new pod racer on the market, quite sleek... Uh, looking at its stats, it's also built for a quite high speed. It's got minus two maneuverability. Okay. Um, it actually looks like it's got quite a low um, hull threshold um, because it's only got one of three and a strain threshold of six. So it looks like actually it's relatively fragile, but modifications you make to it might might help improve that. Yeah. Mm. But it's got a silhouette <laughs> of three, so it's relatively small in comparison to Uma's... Um, Oh no, it's also got silhouette of three. That's fine. So you bo- you both got silhouette, I suppose, because otherwise it would make it massive if it was one up. It'd be like starship size. But yeah. <laughs> you guys are, um, I forget that it's not that small an increase. But you, um, yeah, so you guys, you, it's it's got a decent speed of five because some of them do go lower. Um, but it is, again, diff- looks like it's mostly built to go in a straight line. Okay. The at this point we, we get the character the rest of the characters go up. I'll just quickly sort of glaze over. I mean I will mention the names of them of what they are in case anyone really is that interested. But um, <laughs> Garold McNug goes up and receives an IPG X one one three Stingtail. He doesn't. I know, right? Oh my god! It, you sit in a donut apparently, and you've got a nice big old. I remember two that one. You've got a uh, deck goes up and receives a very sleek. J nine nine zero D A S H. The J nine nine zero D S H. That is so no. dick. Eight eight. Oh, that, that that right there very is very sleek. Looks yeah. like it's also can, very very fast. Actually. I can see him working that. I can see him yeah. decking it out <laughs> <laughs> with those mods. <laughs> Wendell and Axel uh, uh, receive uh, what looks to be a, a very hard down and run um, color po- uh, pon- pondrat plug to bay hay mod. Really? That's, wow. That's brave for this time of year. You never I know, have I seen that coming. You wouldn't. And, uh, you know, that's, that might ref- revolutionize the th- something. <laughs> I wonder if they'll be able to take the opportunity. And Kleps yeah. Samadar receives a XL5151, as does after him, oh, I mean, uh, Muerlo, sure. who both receive these, these ones with very large cylindrical engines that don't doesn't look like it's particularly good it's at moving. I mean that's 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 your workhorse pod racer. So mm-hmm. they, they, they if they if they know how to work their pod racers they'll it's slower. I've heard the red ones um mm. the, the colours just don't the react red, the, quite as well with well, the interesting you say the red ones go faster. Well interesting you say that because Klep Samadar has the red one and oh. uh, M- Murlu has the yellow one. The yellow ones come the with... The yellow one is like, more welcoming. On, more, yeah. more flames. They've got flames on the side, though. A fire oh. issue on the on, with the yellow one. It's true. easier to sell a Difficult yellow one. Difficult to tell though. when it's on fire. 
Insurance isn't as high. Mm, it's not. No. <laughs> Exactly. Plus this is attention. all a conversation that's been happening in the two guys next to us. And talking and they must look at them like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you'll find... Who's the little guys who've been asking you to go to the competitions? In yeah. the- <laughs> oh, I think you'll find the, uh, the XL5151's got the uh, plasma capacity, but the, uh, the IPGX113 Stingtail's got the handling. <laughs> Depends on whether they put the uh, correct modifications on it. Personally, I'd completely replace the uh, fluctuator. Um, like, <laughs> oh, really? I didn't know what they were doing when they put that in there. <laughs> I mean, look, they they, they 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 didn't have the parts. They used what they had. But fluctuators from uh, Alpha Centauri aren't just aren't as good. <laughs> it's very obvious to everyone in the room that if these guys own pod races at all, it's a Volvo. <laughs> right. I look at him. I was like, <clears throat> they mentioned modifications. <laughs> So at this point, your at this point your um, uh, commentator comes back on and says, Co- "Competitors of round one, you shall now be given two hours to make any suitable modifications to your pod races, if you so dare. To make these modifications, our gracious leader Hondo has given you ten thousand Hondo bucks." At this point, Hondo bucks. The little guys come down and they hand out to each of you these little sort of data pad things that have when you open them a little 10,000 with Hondo's face next to it of comes course up. it does is it basically just like Hondo's own cryptocurrency yeah, yeah it's like it's, 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 he's big into the bitcoin <laughs> it's Hondo bit <laughs> uh, so please uh, Hondo cor- uh, Hondo credits may be used on this planet alone and uh, maybe you know, other people who are s- ugh, fucking hell what are you trying to say? Just try again. Trying games. Vendors out in the um in the market will accept this as it is valuable money here on whatever the fuck this planet's called. Somebody write that down for me. I'm gonna need it later again. I, <laughs> I don't. Remember. I don't remember. The vendors outside will take these credits because Hondo said if they don't, he'll kill them. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good. Point. <laughs> like the crowd cheer. I'm like woo! <laughs> They're fucking worthless. Do you want some? Go for it. At this point, you see that he's, the com- commentator continues and starts calling out the names of the competitors that will be in round two and mm-hmm, on and on. Mm-hmm. These guys are then coming up. As you guys are walking out to the back, Cad Bane seems to have disappeared at this point. Um, you can see one of the other oh, compet- one or two of the other competitors leaving. He's fucking shocked that Hondo has given on. him a yep. yeah. slick in. I know, right? That's how they what? get him to go faster. I mean, this guy is the bane of your lives. Anyway... <laughs> You, as you guys are leaving, you see more pod I, I coming up. I can't believe he said that. <laughs> different varieties of shapes and colours coming up on these holograms, and you leave out of the main area to a lot of applause and, and, um, and uh, people trying to get signatures and autographs off you into the marketplace. Mm. So we've established that Uma and Luna, you guys are going to be piloting mm-hmm. these ships. Tokrin, just to get it out of the way, who are you going to go with in this, and who's Woody going to go with? Um, yeah, I'll ask the guys. And it's like, what? So, I think it's probably wise that me and Woody go separately because you, would be I've seen you guys quite, try and fix things before. You'd, it would be quite helpful, to be honest. And um, I can't imagine either of you pilot in a. Um... So, Woody goes. Which, Luna, you understand that what, what, what all of you understand what Woody says to you, which is, I don't think you need me. And then he goes like a <laughs> really slow head rotation to Uma as he realizes the mistake he's made. I put, oh I, my god! I, I, how heavy is he? I don't know, like probably probably like thirty kilos. But like a good like thirty yeah. forty kilos. All right, so I can lift him up. Yeah. Um, I grab him up, put more one down, say, so "Let's go, Woody," and oh just god. start walking off into the market. <laughs> Oil starts leaking Woody, we, are going, we are going to have a great time. Oh, no. I just look te- like like a mother losing her child. I'm just like. Yeah. Ah. Well, I, I just I just look to Luna. I'm like, oh, rather than me. Oh. <laughs> watch watch me win this. <laughs> watch me win this in a blaze of glory, like everyone else on fire behind me. Talking about Emma would just have it would be like a married couple. It would be. Fucking- 
<laughs> you, you're in the back. She's like, drive slower. You fucking what? <laughs> what? Well, this is a race. <laughs> it's like, Why would I drive slower? It's like, Uma, use your manners. <laughs> <laughs> Did you check before signaling? I'm not fucking signaling. I was busy Tor- shooting Tor- them. Torquin climbs out from one of the engine goes, I've got the indicators working. <laughs> 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 one of the other engines goes good going because it's made it sentient during the race <laughs> you cannot make this pod race a sentient oh. you can't if you try I'm going to put Barney in it okay. Who? is there anything oh. hello there shall I turn off both of the engines see I feel like that might motivate me to drive faster and win it if I just hear to him to try and run him over <laughs> Barney comes out like why does this thing have air con <laughs> <laughs> it's got no roof <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the middle bit. It's not just me this week. That, that's, uh, how many weeks have it just you? I thought I was in last week. Oh, no, I don't know, one, one or two, week. but it's a thing I say at the beginning of every mid bit. It's just, hi, <laughs> just me this week. <laughs> <laughs> Our mid bits have just become a flow chart now. It's like, hi, welcome to the middle bit. Either it's just me this week, or it's not just me this week. <laughs> Hope not you enjoyed the episode. Week. Uh, that's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> The um, flow chart that is our. Um, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> How are you doing? I am doing well. I am doing well. How are you doing? Um. Yeah. Yeah. I'm all right. My my dad has just started. Um. <laughs> like, I think he's scraping away stuff off the windowsill right outside where I am right now. So you might be able to hear that. If we just stay silent for a moment, <laughs> just. Sh- <laughs> you might just be able uh, to hear it. It's great. Uh, I tried to make the mic- not sure, not sure, not sure. I tried to make the microphone l- sensitive, not sensitive enough, so that it wouldn't pick it up. But we'll see. You might just hear it occasionally. No, hopefully bang. not. But anyway, hopefully you know that—that's what doing a podcast in quarantine's like. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> so what have I been oh. doing this week? I have been uh, pissing around. It's been good. I've also been doing some very, very hard work watching Clone Wars. Oh yes! So you finally caught up. I have, I have, because uh, originally I was going to try and watch it all again with my sister, um, who's also a massive Star Wars fan, um, and we were mm. going to, um, you know, watch it all and then watch the new season. But we just weren't finding ridiculously, we weren't finding the time, like when we were both free at the same time. So it just it wasn't going to happen to watch, you know, three hundred odd fucking episodes or whatever. Yeah, it is. yeah. So it's not quite that many. <laughs> and I so. was just bugging you, going, "Watch the new season. I need you to see it." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So eventually so we did good. it. Oh, right, so non-spoiler uh, review. Go. Non-spoiler review. Uh, it's I loved the first arc because yeah. it's, it's, it's a season of three arcs, and yeah. the the Bad Batch arc is fantastic, and I really love that. It's very. I like. Um, the, I like that it's not too like important a story. Like it, it's yeah. just it's just like a wee cool story about some cool um you know a yeah. cool faction of the of the clone army. And it doesn't yeah. really have much of relevance to anything. It's just kind of cool. The second I one... Liked, I liked it a lot. The second one, I wasn't massive on. I still enjoyed it. But it's like... It's yeah. Ter- I, it's kind of like what Ahsoka was doing. You know, what, what Ahsoka's been doing. You know, now that exactly, she's not a Jedi. I think, I think it's sort of like... A, the way I've heard... You know, it's... it's it's one of those ones that wouldn't have gone, you know, it wouldn't have had, you know, been. No one would have looked at it twice. It being in just the middle of a normal Clone Wars season, but I think a lot yeah. of people have wondered why it was included and not some other stuff in the final season. Yeah. I very much but got the I, impression I think... that the first two arcs were recorded because I know they used some of the stuff they used was just old footage that they never actually ended up using because it was scrapped. I feel like the first two arcs might have even been like stuff they just already had or just was in progress and they just sort of tarted up a bit. I don't know. I think the Bad Batch stuff, they had a, a bit a decent amount of that stuff. I'm not sh- certain but I don't know about the Ahsoka stuff. I The way that I've heard it described is apparently what they wanted to have was the final arc is obviously about Ahsoka and Rex. So they wanted to have two arcs. Bef- that was the story they wanted to tell. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And so they wanted to have two arcs before that to say, this is where Rex is at at the moment. This is where Ahsoka's at at the moment. Then we'll bring them together. Oh, okay. Um, and it makes a lot more sense when you think of it like that. Like, they, the two stories pri- pre- uh, previously, you don't need to have that at all to watch the final arc. 
but it's just nice to have like get reminded because obviously a lot of people might not have seen Clone Wars in a while and just like to not just jump straight back into jaw dropping amazingness and just like have a little bit just to introduce the characters back again and be like this is where they are since we last saw them. Yeah, no, exactly. Um, and then the last one is designed, as you told me, is designed to be watched as a movie. It's like four parts, yes. and it starts off yeah. with like it's got like a like the actual Star Wars music and stuff, and it starts actual off with Star like Wars, exactly like Lucasfilm <laughs> productions and stuff. And in the mm. thing, it actually because none of the Clone Wars stuff actually has like themes from Star Wars music apart from like little tiny things where this full-on just had like music that was just completely lifted from other films yeah and uh, what well, apparently um apparently there's very very few times in the clone wars tv show when they actually have an orchestra uh yeah. stuff. But i think for these four episodes they had a full orchestra um making music for the the the, the so for the for the movie yeah um so all of it was sort of rewritten bits of Star Wars music with some new stuff, obviously as well. Like there's this really tense music and bits of it and stuff as well. That's yeah. not Star Wars at all. Uh, but it's like, yeah, they did like loads of new stuff, which is really cool. It's it's just amazing. One thing I wondered about the music actually is that if you what if somebody was to edit all of it together, does the music sync up um, so that you can continue watching it, or will it be like there's this weird yeah. like oh. You can tell that that was an end point of an episode bit with the, where the music was or whatever. But oh, okay. Um, but uh, I, yeah, no, I I just thought it was the, the last art just blew me away. I thought that was, it was just really fantastic. good. Yeah. But uh, it like actually almost brought me to tears a bit. So I was like, oh I know. god, damn it. <laughs> I know, I know, because it's, re- it's really cool. Like the la- the whole point of the last arc is that it actually overlaps with episode three. So yeah. like there's yeah. there's bits of it where like we see scenes that were actually in episode three but they're animated and like instead of the camera cutting away and going to someone else like it did in episode three, it just continues on and you see what those characters did next. Exactly, so like and yeah, then it, that so... kind of stuff includes Ahsoka. Oh. And it just seems like it all flows really naturally. Like there was stuff just going on in the background off camera that we didn't see in episode three and this yeah. was that. I think Dave Filoni in an interview said that they watched the they watched episode three like over and over and over and over to make sure everything fit perfectly chronologically. Yeah. Um, uh, that was really really neat. Apparently, so apparently, there's some cool Easter eggs in it. Um, right. Which aren't spoilers actually. One or two, the one or two that I know about it uh, are, that are not spoilers are quite interesting. Um, one of the Jedi uh, that is mentioned i'm fairly certain or or like referred i think there's a reference to cal caster cal caster is that yeah, yeah from yeah. jedi fallen order i believe there's a reference to him in there somewhere oh wow i, I can't remember if it's like the lo- they name name drop the location of where he is or something like that i remember somebody mentioning that the other one that's, that's really awesome. really cool is um you know right at the beginning they show like that that the intro to the sort of whole season yeah. um has like a bunch of flashing around you see different things you see grievous pr- uh, briefly and you see yeah. some like the jedi stood around a, a table communicating with each other well there's a jedi master stood there and her padawan is next to her yeah. next to her and that je- that padawan is um the older jedi in rebels yeah you know i saw that because that was in the, the the people picked up on that on the trailer as well yeah like, in the original trailer they saw that yeah i thought it was really cool it's really cool i really like that actually he has a different name when he's young to when he's older and i can't remember either right. of them there's so. also um the um there's a bit where maul um uh is talking to, to the heads of the um uh, crimson dawn and yes. what's his name is there who has gone out of my head uh oh fuck <laughs> we're really good at this <laughs> we're the, big star wars fans the, we promise the baddie in uh uh Solo. Larson, Carlton oh. vask or something v- 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 vas vas no um <laughs> carton of milk <laughs> <laughs> Classic carton of milk, Vask. Um, it's like something Vast like that. Do no, God, right? Ba- he's I the Google. leader of the. He's the leader of the of the Crimson Dawn, isn't he? Well, Maul is, but no, right. Maul's the leader of the Syndicate, the oh, Crime okay. Syndicate, I believe. Oh, and then Dryden like, Voss, that's it. Dryden Voss. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I noticed him. That's. I thought that was really really cool, and the the pikes as well and that was really yeah. neat um i also there's a so there's a rumor going around right that um 
I was watching Blind Wave watch these episodes as well, and they noticed that uh, it's something that I obviously noticed as well, but didn't really think about it. Um, was that right at the beginning that flash you get a grievous it's a completely new model for grievous um, and apparently one of the reasons that all of these models look really really good is that they've had ages to make it and it's only these number of episodes yeah so they just let the render times go wild and like make these amazing models look even better oh, that's um, cool. and but uh they made a new model really high detail model for grievous and they were like, why the hell would they make that for like a one second flash of Grievous? And the rumor is that there are some episodes of the Clone Wars they never got the chance to make. And although this is the final season of the Clone Wars, there might be one or two episodes coming out in the future that like fit in in other places in the Clone Wars. Like the oh, classic, cool. we made it completely out of order Clone Wars thing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, that's awesome. So apparently there, there might be some extra episodes that are yet to come in the next year or so. Or it could just be like, we see Grievous once, we want to make him look really fucking cool. <laughs> yeah, and I think Dave Filoni has like got control of an... I think he might be making another animated Star Wars film uh, yeah. that's Did... not set in one of the th- area timelines that we've seen so far. I, I honestly... I know a lot of people are really hoping that it'll be like, uh, you know, Jedi Purge and that mm. Vader sort of stuff maybe, or like some time between, you know, like another expansion of like... Uh, that between episodes three and four sort of time something like that or like maybe a time that we've not seen but i really hope actually it's either old republic and he does a revan thing which would be just so cool Mm -hmm. or or that it's he does for the clone wars uh what like like what the clone wars did for the prequels that he does for the sequels because they get a lot of hate and i think there's there's a lot of stuff for people to be able to love in the sequels that i definitely do yeah. There's a lot of stuff in it that I definitely do love, and there's stuff I don't like, but there's stuff I do love. Like definitely some and, great uh, stuff in like the Kylo Ren comic and stuff, which would exactly. be awesome to like animate. Yeah, and 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 I think it's one of those things that I ch- like. I look at, look at the sequels and I see the problems with it, but I love Star Wars and I choose to like the sequels. Like it is a choice, and you have to actively choose to love them because there's a there are some dumb bits in there, but yeah. like I overall do really like them, and I hope mm. that he can do like if you had a show that's set between uh like set between um episodes six and seven that like brings the uh, the sequels more back like back around a little bit or like can because lots of people hated the the, the prequels and then clone wars came out and everybody loved the clone wars and over yeah. time their love for the prequels has come back and i think partly the clone wars is responsible for that yeah no absolutely i think i'm just generally sick of stuff being set between three and four as well like, we've seen that timeline done a lot yeah like, we've done that we're like can we just can we just like agree that that's now been done yeah like, between been between done. six and seven i think is one of the most interesting bits like what with the man because we know nothing stuff. about well very little about that yeah yeah but i mean i was about i was about to say you know god we're just sitting talking about star wars you know they might the people listening to us might not want to talk about star wars but they are watching a star wars episode so it's <laughs> so, listening to a star wars podcast exactly yeah we've exactly. also got some other star wars news we should mention very quickly is um kind of spoilers i guess for season two of the mandalorian so if you don't want to hear this skip ahead um but apparently um, but it's just a rumor cha- <laughs> it's just oh. no i think it's confirmed apparently oh shit yeah okay i think okay. it's ju- i think it's just being confirmed or rumored, okay. but it's it's been <laughs> one of the two. Apparently, uh, the old Chapo who played Django Fett and the clones in episodes two and three is gonna be uh, playing Boba Fett in the second season of The Mandalorian, which is just great. Which is I awesome. Mean, I like Boba Fett. I think he's cool. Yeah, and and you were saying that, that if he's back in the Star Wars, mm. you know, universe type thing, you know, he could play Rex in the future. He, he could play, play Rex like, as well. Yeah. Just give him a contract for all the movies, please. Exactly. Although he would have to look a lot older as Rex than Boba Fett looks, because yeah, Boba Fett at that point is what like in his thirties, forties, and Rex is in his like nineties, two hundred. <laughs> Rex is like even younger or the same age. No, they're the same age. They're the same yeah. age, but they look completely different because Rex has got accelerated age. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do you also see that Taika Waititi? is going to be directing a Star Wars film. You mentioned that to me. Yeah, that is so cool. That would be yeah. really good. I just think that Dave Filoni uh, should take control of Star Wars now. 
I just think he should. The way Kevin Feige did for the MCU, I think he yeah. should. Just he yeah, gets I... it. He just gets it, and he spent so much time with George Lucas. He just yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I think with with big franchises and projects like this, you've got to have that somebody that has that overriding voice on the project. Like yeah, like you, you like. Like Lord of the Rings had the one director that was Peter fucking what's his face Jackson. Jesus Christ Peter Jackson exactly so like you had that like running through Harry Potter had obviously J- uh, J- J- J.K. Rowling like I, know what I mean Good. And, and and her tweets and, but but yeah. you have that one like one creative voice that sort of like goes over all of it and the original Star Wars had George Lucas there all the time regardless of whether he directed it or not he was like there being the creative voice behind all of it a lot of the time. For good or yeah. bad, um, the new Star Wars se- sequels trilogy. I think the problems that from it stem the fact that there's just no continuity of story with, um, yeah, uh, and and I, like and vision because of the change of directors and this sort of passing of a piece of a, like a note of paper that says this is kind of what's supposed to happen next, and they go ah fuck it, I'm just gonna ignore that. Yeah, and also you the person and people in charge were just this sort of like pen pushing board at Disney, who didn't exactly, really yeah. understand. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, we just want right. to make, make money. But oh well. Yeah, right. I'm gonna have to go and make my family some lunch. Ooh. Um, but th- very thank you for the Star Wars chat. I've enjoyed it Star a Wars lot actually. Good. <laughs> and we'll play Battlefront two at some point soon. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. So me and my sister started the campaign mode of it yesterday. It's pretty oh, good. it's so good. Yeah, it's, it's so good. good. We we downloaded nice. a mod so that we can play it on PC multiplayer. It was very, or on Hell split screen. Yes. So, but yeah, yeah. Um, and also, just a, a wee, a wee, a wee teaser. Eventually, when the new um, thing, make, when the new Lego oh, Star Wars yes. comes out, we 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 are pretty much certain. If quarantine will allow us, if the lockdown has been lifted, me and James will be playing <laughs> through the new Lego Star Wars uh, game. Star- on. Skywalker Saga. Yeah, yeah. that'll be good. We're gonna stream right. it. Right, <laughs> so right. Good. We hope you've enjoyed this Star Wars chat. Back to more Star Wars chat. We hope you enjoy the rest of the episode. Check out the charities we support. You know what they are. And um, yeah, check us out on our Somies. You know what they are. Yeah. All right. Well, tatty buys. <laughs> tatty buys. Speak to you bye. later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Right, so you guys are stood in a large marketplace, the one that you walked through before, people are still selling fish, whatnot. <laughs> you, um, at this point, so you have effectively 10,000 credits, which we'll as normal credits for now. Rich. Uh, just once you leave this planet, it won't be useful anymore. Please um, try, uh, so please look through the book, um, have a wee look at what modifications you would like to purchase. You have 10,000 credits between the three of you, so for, for two pod racers. Mm-hmm. Okay. We need the book, Can please. we please have the book? <laughs> I, I I had a look through the book and I've decided which ones I want. Are you going right, to consult on, with Woody we're... or is this a bit no, of a dictate? No, no, no. We're going to quickly roleplay this. I, I, I pretend, if Woody tries to interject, I pretend to not understand droid. Uh, so, I'm so um, scared for my boy. So I, I turn to Luna um, and I say, right, should we go try and find some sort of vendor? I imagine the, a lot of the places out here are quite like, mobbed already. Because a lot of people will come out. Actually, and... it seems like most people at the moment are still trying to get into the main, um, the main hall, main building, trying to see all of the competitors and sort of stuff. You've got a few people around you. You've actually been bothered for a few uh, signatures and autographs all right. and all that sort of stuff. Um, but mostly people are still trying to see the other competitors. The, the marketplace is still quite busy. But say as busy as you know Glasgow High Street on a Saturday. All right. It's not. You're yeah. not Glastonbury. <laughs> trying to get through the crowd to see you know, your famous quintessentially British reference. Yeah, yeah your famous <laughs> your famous singers like Elvis. That was the last time I listened. Elvis, not but uh, Elton John. Elton John and, and Eminem. He's still he's, he's not, a musician. Not isn't British. He? He's not British. <laughs> yeah, but he does music. Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Ed Sheeran and your and, and, and the Beatles <clears throat> and the Paper Trail. Hashtag ah, Paper Trail. Yeah. Fuck yes. <laughs> anyway, um, it's, it's, yeah, it's not too busy, so you can you can make it to vendors if you want to. Cool, cool. I turn to Luna. Cool. Um, do we still have like a? Do we have a pick? Like a, a you said pod racing rules that we're using for this are from a chap on online 
who I'm just trying to quickly get the name up of because I really think this guy deserves... Um, oh, yeah, so Michael Duxbury. Um, this guy wrote this based off a system that he developed for his uh, his role-playing group. Oh, cool. It's really, really, really well laid out, and I've not really changed... I think I've only changed one or two rules within it to make it suit our purposes. It's a fantastic oh. Wii system that he's built out here. So it's really good. So big shout out to him and thank you because uh, we're stealing this from him. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, that's he's done a really brilliant job putting this together. He also put forward this idea that because his system uses a lot of system strain, um, will allow you. He's allowed, he allowed his players to purchase something called a redundancy system, which doesn't exist within the rules. But it increases your system strain by two whilst lowering your handling because it makes the ship heavier and bulkier. Um, so I will also allow you to purchase those for a thousand credits. You have space to fit one of them to your ship. Okay, so Luna, um, I think our ship's pretty fast. Um, the handling's minus two. We would want to try and improve that if we can. Um, I don't know what there is available for us to be able to do that. Our system mm -hmm. threshold mm -hmm. is six mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in context i don't really know whether these numbers are low or high <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if this is well, talking looks up normal reference ranges. What did, I did, oh, sorry i didn't sorry, roll no, my yeah, thing because luna might have an idea of that i need my forums what would you roll against i'm gonna, gonna have, save I'm gonna all say of it three into three nice instead of four straight like, <laughs> to the death star <laughs> adventures in the last like, year oh or so God, you've not really been keeping up to date with your pod racing so you don't know where the information might be so I'm also just for the viewers I'm allowing these guys every day pod racing fan does not sleep I've got three I can help I can help give a blue boost die how can I help um I mm. uh, yeah I I know stuff like uh, if we if we if at any point we sort of like jump into like actual techie talk I'll be like oh okay no I've seen that I've seen that used in this before yes, this yeah. is that 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 could mean this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that would be useful for body sort of thing mm -hmm. okay so I'm more into how like, actually maneuverability of it whereas you could be like oh the engine stats are this, 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 yeah. or that specific code is yeah. <laughs> I'm like mm, okay <laughs> 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 oh. Oh, I got I'm feeling two bad ones. So unfortunately, wow. you can't really tell. It's obvious to you that this ship is fast. Could it be like the can't... Wi-Fi ship? Like I can't connect to it. I'm just like I like whacking it. <laughs> it's just like the has just it's not, not working. working particularly well. But you're you're just not really sure. You you're aware that this is fast and it's handling, but you're not really sure whether its systems are designed to take a lot of strain. Or what? Because I'm going to base that just off your system, Shane. You know that this is fast, and it's but it's difficult to manoeuvre. Mm -hmm. um, but you don't know really how it compares with system strain. Yeah. Um, however, I will allow you to... You can directly compare its stats against uh, Uma's racer. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but that will give you an idea of between the two of them. So, Uma... Uh... Speed, our speed's five. What's yours? Mine is six. <clears throat> okay, cool. Pretty quick. Cool. Yeah, but I think he, I remember him saying that that was particularly fast. I think so. I'm, which I'm pretty happy with. Handling minus two? Uh, handling is also minus two. Uh, okay, I don't mm. know if that's standard or whether that's pretty shit. I don't know. Um, do I have any idea? If you want to give me the same check that... Which check was it? It was a sort of... Sh what did you do? In the <laughs> I did it, I think, just as like streetwise. Uh, that is a single success. Cool. Was that against three purple? Yeah. Sweet. Um, in my panel, I guess. What was your system strength? Like, like file of facts. No, <laughs> I'm just like... I saw that. I saw someone die in that one. It was cool. What was? What were you asking about? Your system um, strength? Like... Uh, oh, handling. Oh, right, handling. Um, handling. What's, what's the average handling? Because ours is both minus two. So you know that minus two isn't great. Minus one would be pretty standard and zero would be really good handling for a pod racer. Okay. So these these are pretty big compared to some other ones, like kind of bulky. So they aren't, mm. th these are the ones that when I've watched Luna watch it, normally blow up. And then they blow up and I kind of go away. Because <laughs> they like crash into walls and stuff like that. So. Um, can I do a roll <laughs> to see? Um, so our, my, our thr hull threshold is, is three. Yeah, right. system threshold is six. My mm. system threshold is five and my hull is four. Okay. C do I, can I, can, can I, I, can I, like, well, knock I'm not, I'm, I'm on yet. the side <laughs> of mine and on the You're side of theirs? You're not physically at them yet. 
Yeah, you can be go go to them now if you want to. Cool. Um, but you're currently in the marketplace, so you mm-hmm. can, you'll, you'll know that most of your modifications, Tokrin at least, will be able to make it work on these pod races, so you mm-hmm. don't really need to worry about going to see them first. So what was your system? You were asking about your system threshold. Uh, I'll like to use the same check I, for it. Can I, so, I've, not, I've not done a roll yet, so I might System well thresholds, um, mine is five, theirs is six. What's kind of average? Right, okay. So the system thresholds, you, you have a general idea that you guys are... You're five and they're six. Mm-hmm. Yours is pretty bad. Like, you can tell that yours was designed to live, you know, live fast, die young. Um, I like it. There's a slightly above that, but you know that, like, for example, um, most of the middle of the road ones, you'd have expected to be about seven. Hull threshold? No, okay. it's system strength. Oh, threshold. right, okay, fuck. That's no, about hull. Um, threshold, so sorry. I, I, sorry. I, I, yeah. rolled, I rolled us uh, to do a, an in, a sort of check about these things, but I rolled a success and two advantages. To learn about to learn something else about them. So the the, the 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 whole threshold, you know that what have you got for that? Four, Uma? I've got four. Luna and Tokrin, you got three. <clears throat> Luna and Tokrin, you're a little bit worried actually about the the whole threshold of it. Okay. You don't you know that actually whole threshold isn't the most important thing in pod racing, but you know if you're playing with dirty characters who write ram you and stuff, you might take damage in it. Um this you you're you're a little worried that maybe the um system the, the whole threshold is quite low for you guys you know mm. it can go a fair bit higher towards more your sort of you know you'd, you'd, you'd be happy if it was around about like say a five or a yeah around about five you know you'd be a little bit better than most I'd say in terms of you and me Luna anyway I'd say that the whole thresholds are most our biggest priority mm-hmm then probably the handling. What, 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 what did you say about the system threshold, Luna? Sorry, uh, Uma, I, I missed that. Um, mine is five. Sorry, mine is about five. I can take about five. Okay. Like... Oh, it's a minus five. I was like, what the fuck? No. Yes. And you guys have got... Um... Yeah, you're handling as well. Yeah. So, Luna, I think in terms of you and me, let's get the whole threshold upgraded if we can and see if we can do anything about the handling what are you thinking Uma? so I have got some ideas you'll like it it's, okay. a, it's a surprise I'm going to lower my handling even more <laughs> it's going to be good don't worry look I'm not planning on winning but I'm planning on you winning what? are you just going to ram a whole bunch of people and take people out? Shh. I like put my finger to my lips and back out of the room with Woody and go off to buy things. What was Woody being like? Yeah! Well, just as you're about to walk off, actually, because this is quite relevant, something I forgot to mention earlier on. Um, one of the guys that sort of came and got you when you were ready for your things comes and gives you this uh, another. He just comes with up with his data pad and just goes. Just so you know, uh, your pod racers are currently located in Hangar Seven. Um, both of them will be there. It's not particularly difficult to find. Um, it's just sort of over that away. And he points in the general direction of uh, mm-hmm. just to the side, really, of where the main building is. Um, uh, from from there, any someone will uh, I'll, I'll probably be sent to tell you where to go from there to the to the actual racetrack. Um, it's it's a wee distance from here, but we'll we'll transport you on hover trucks to the uh, to the to the location. Uh, just um, important information for this is that actually this isn't a knockout round as was the last one. Uh, you're fighting for benefits in round three. You're laughing at the way I have to do my nose to be able to do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 you have to make to do this one. Right. right. So uh, basically, <laughs> if you come first, it's it's the highest position a member of your team comes. So the highest you guys have two pod racers. Whichever the highest pod racer is, that's the position you hold. Um, and uh, yes, you need to um, come as high as you can to elicit better advantages for the final round, known as the final hunt. Right. Satisfied. But we don't get any questions. Know, don't get to know what those advantages are. No good. Are. Right. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Hang your seven. He shouts over his shoulder <laughs> as he walks away from you. To be honest, I don't mind these walks. To be that, I could not stand that voice anymore. <laughs> I just I so basically so the much. rules of this this round are: don't die, you make it through to the next round. Okay, cool. You just you're, you're fighting for a position we... for, for for better advantages in the next one. Oh, yes, mm-hmm. and to answer your question, yes, you don't know what those are yet. So Consult. time time goes by. Mm-hmm. 
You're wandering around the market. I'm um, wandering around the market. And anybody that looks on would be like, what the fuck is going on? Mm-hmm. Um, because I'm walking around with a stolen shopping cart just full of shit. <laughs> just, just full of stuff. Right. I've bought fish again because I liked the guy. Okay. Um, I've bought like toasters, radiators. Okay. Um, all the above. How like many, just, just anything. How many have you spent your, your actual? I've, credits? I spent I spent nine hundred credits on just junk. On just random junk. Yeah, That's just a junk. fair bit of random junk. Yeah, it's a fair bit. Like it's a big. And I've got. I basically uh, piled it up behind Woody. Yeah. Um. I then I'm like, so oh, Woody, um, take that back to Hangar Seven. I have some other stuff to do. So Woody <laughs> takes all. Woody takes that all away. And He's like attached. You've like hooked him up to a little, yeah. like one of those red, red mm-hmm. little um, pool things that yeah. the kids have in America and stuff. Yeah. Him up to him Woody, I'll see you in a bit. I'm going to go talk to uh, a guy about a thing. A guy uh, about a horse. <laughs> guy about the horse. Okay. Um, can I find like a sort of more like computer, like a computer workshop? Yes. There, there seems to be a guy with quite a few like screens it almost looks like you know cex if you're in britain mm-hmm. you know that yeah. second hand electronic yeah. store it looks like lots of little bits with like of electronics some of them seem to be working has some screens on inside and stuff but it looks to be a lot more electronic than just random bits of actual mechanical junk mm-hmm. you can head up that way if you want yeah i'd like to head there all right can i guess what you're buying yes you can are you buying the colliding avoidance system and then the foreign <coughs> debris ejector <Yes. laughs> <laughs> that's what all the junk is I'm going to have Woody throw it Fish. off the back. <laughs> so I, I was like, if we've money left over, I'm buying it. <laughs> yeah, this is what I'm going for. You walk up to this uh, tech shop mm-hmm. and there is a Gungan wandering around in the inside, um, making adjustments to things and, and walking around. Hello, sir. Oh, hello, sir. So um, I have, I'm in need of a bit of help. Um, ah, how come we say help you? I'm uh, one of the contestants for the big thing. Ah, yes, you are a member of the 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 eclipse. Yes, 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 yes. You're yeah, yes, yes. Uma Naka. Oh no, no, they say you're not supposed to say your name. No, no, no it's it's Mystery, uh, scary, scary, Mister Scared. Titan, Titan, yes. Titan, Titan that's yeah. the one. Perfect. Um, I, I don't really care. You can call me whatever. Call okay. me Omar. Yeah, it's fine. I shall call you a customer. Ah, perfect. Yeah, that's what I am. Mr. Uh, good for trade, yeah? Yeah, very much so. I'm hoping that uh, you look like you might have the kind of thing that I need. Yes, um, you want, you want uh, uh, technologically computers? Uh, I kind of need... Um, so I'm looking for a specific tech part that I remember. Ah, um, you're upgrading your pod racer. I am, yes. Ah, yes, um, yes, yes. So do you have anything... So there's a specific... Um, uh, uh, he's, he's not quite a member of the Hutt family. He's off to the side. He's kind of like a off to the side member of the Hutt family, um, called yes, Elon yes. the Mu- Elon the Musk. Um, and he, I remember he makes custom pod races. Musk that's, the Hutt. Mu- Musk, no, Elon the Musk. Um, he got thrown out of the uh, Hutt family. I remember he made a very specific brand of pod races that can sort of self drive. Uh, self drive. Yes. Uh, what are you? What are you looking for? What I kind of basically, for? I'm I'm supposed to be piloting this pod racer. Uh-huh. And look, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not really good at this sort of thing. I'm more of a hit things kind of guy. You know, officially that is cheating. I love it, Miss. I help you. Thank you. Perfect. You have a name for so, what you're looking for? Uh, it, it's it's it's. I'm looking for basically something. I don't know how to f- fly this thing. Um, mm-hmm. Just if there's anything that if I'm allowed to blank bang into something, it can help me avoid it. Uh, ah, you want the avoidance system? Yes, exactly. Ah, yes. This is easy. We can do this. Perfect. Thank Misa, you. Misa, put it on for you. Yes, that would be fantastic. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Let's you. look at price. Um, I'll I have one in the back. How much? You know, sort of 2,300 range. I mean, you we accept hundo bucks here. You're, you're, it's a bit on the high side, that. Eh? Hmm. I'll give you 2,000. 2,000 is a heavy hit. I've got to make profit somewhere. Um. And he seems to sort of starts to be thinking it over. If you give me a, you're making a negotiation mm-hmm. check, um, and I'll rival it against something of his. We'll say that he, you know he's a, he's a sort of cool, a yeah. pretty decent negotiator. This is what he does for a living. So he's gonna have two purple and one red against whatever you're okay. making. Okay. Um, two purple and one red. Yeah. Right. That's fine. I need to borrow some dice. Here you go. Oh, or uh, use your two purple yeah. one red. Two purple one red. Right. That ends up with me having, right, so that is three successes, but four um, disadvantages. Right, okay. Um, don't really know how to make the disadvantages come in. Uh, I'll kind of, so 
look, we'll do it for my price. But I will uh, do I'll owe you a favor. What do you want? Other than oh, money. Oh, Mister, like this, uh, like this, a favor for a three thousand three hundred credit favor. This is okay. Uh, so I said two thousand. We do deal. Two thousand. That works. And um, a uh, favor, favor. I tell you what. What? You say are uh, you. You wreck the pod racer, or you wreck yes. someone else's pod racer. Perfect. You, you That's steal something pretty for for Misa. Okay, I will try that. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay. His name is uh, Misa. Misa. <laughs> or let's call him um, Miso Soup. Uh, super. Super, Miss Misa Super. You bring back something for Misa. We we call it even. If not, perfect. I'll, maybe, I'll give you the maybe the money you pay me 300 credits in the future. I'll track you down. Uh, I Misa know who you are. Uh, yeah, Uma yeah. Nakatima. Oh shit. Probably should have used my code name, huh? Oh well. That but works. He, he shakes your hand and then he says, um, Yes, I, I send the boys around to, to what hangar are you shipping? I think it's hangar 7. Hangar 7, yes. And he gives uh, two clicks. And you know there's all uh, pit stop droids for yeah. episode one. Yeah. A couple of them pop up and go, it? and they start gathering a bunch of stuff mm-hmm. into part boxes and stuff. And then like you see them like trundling off. He says, uh, good luck. Uh, Thank you very much. For you. Thank you very much. It's uh, much appreciated. Cool. Um, <coughs> so yeah, your favour will basically be try and nick something nice cool. from him from the wreckage or, or from this race at some point cool. to give back to him. Can I also yes. refill Woody's frag grenades? Oh. Uh, Misa, know a guy who sells this sort of Perfect. thing. Do you want the frag grenades? Six will do. Six frag grenades. I, I like you. You give me 250, 250 credits. I make sure I make sure six frag grenades are also delivered to. Perfect. Here and you I go. make sure they're not on. Ah, fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Good, Very good. good. Uh, you have any friends also looking? Uh, send them my way. Will do. Perfect. Good, 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 good. Yeah. What happened there with me? So, so very quickly should, to update you guys, because you've obviously been choosing yeah. your modifications. So I have added on um, both a uh, foreign debris ejector in the form of a red, red sort of like Tonka truck full of random shit that I bought, Good. Um, including like radiators, coasters, <laughs> a bunch of fish from the guy that was selling fish. Is there a washing machine? Um, no, there's yeah. not. It's a bit big. Shame. Um, and basically the plan is oh, to Oh, is have... that where you got your value for all of that? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Okay, I like that. Um, and basically 900 credits worth of just random crap is just going to be like piled on the That's back a lot and, of occasion- crap. <laughs> and occasionally I'm just going to have Woody push some of it off um, wow. yeah and then I've also paid for um, basically a uh, so I heard of this guy that he, was all, he, was, he wasn't a hut so he couldn't join the hut clan um, but he was like an equivalent so he called himself Elon the Musk um, that <laughs> Uh, you tried to develop tried to develop self-driving pod races, but it didn't quite work. But it helps. Um, so I also added on a collision avoidance system. Okay. Um, basically, because it's gonna like beep really loud, like cars, modern cars do when <laughs> I get near something. <laughs> he's got he's got rever- reversing beepers. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then yeah, that's the, pretty much that. The mothering yeah. instinct in talk. Isn't so it? have you? Yeah. So, so Uma, you carry on maybe looking around some uh-huh. stalls and m- moving on. Um, Tokrin and Luna, what are you guys current? What are you going to do? What are you looking for? So, so Tokrin and Luna have been sitting on a bench somewhere, and they've got like notepads and like <laughs> fleshed out notes about what they want. And <laughs> there's a spreadsheet going. Yeah. There's a spreadsheet going with prices and pros and cons. People are looking and... at you real weird because I've never seen written paper before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fine, our days are bad then. No, it's fine. Yeah, it's it's, totally um, no one questioned in eight why Ray didn't go. What the fuck is a book <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. yeah but yeah yeah the go. sacred data data pads <laughs> <laughs> they haven't been charged in a thousand years <laughs> that's really good <laughs> but yes yeah, so you, you guys get your fleshed out notes of what you want to get yes so what sort of shop are you looking for we and then let me tell you you definitely find it and how you find it pretty much uh, we want to buy most of the things Oh, okay. So we're getting a fair bit of stuff on this pod race. We are. We this are. is going to be modified to the high To heavens. the max, to the extreme. So, um, first off, we'd like to buy the hand... We'd like to go somewhere to get someone that does handling upgrades. Okay. Someone with a lot so, of hands. I'll tell you what, nearby, someone what with hands. you guys see... What we want is a general walked, store. You've walked deep. 
into the market and you see this shop that looks actually pretty well set up for these shops that are here mm. even looks like it's actually a pretty decent building like even in size as well it's got a big red sign out the front of it that says Jargos and there's all <laughs> these people like flicking through data pads looking at all of these items T44 wait it's in Jawa I suppose isn't it it's just like you can see tons of Jawas going Bleh! wait that's a droid it's like Hootini Tata Tata and takes like you can see people taking these little little numbers or bits of paper mm. and then like, stood there sat down waiting for their number on a screen to come up which is all in the sort of mm. strange the Arabesh language of the galaxy and lots of Jawas running around you can see conveyor belts and droids moving stuff around Jesus. in the background why is this so far away this is this should be like Jargos yeah zoning it's the only way they could get the area. Yeah, okay. yeah. They can't get the, the council here is a fucking ball lake because <laughs> it's Hondo. You guys can order all of this stuff, and it'll be your pay for on delivery uh, in Hangar Seven. So that's all right. Oh, cool. okay. So, okay. so Miso Supo made a um, made a deal with you that his his droids will take payment before they drop off the st- well before they leave the stuff with you. Cool. Um, yeah. So pretty much, we would like to clear out the Jargos catalogue mm-hmm. for the ships. We would like the handling upgrades, the collision avoidance system, the shield, the reinforced engine cowlings, <laughs> the foreign debris ejector, also just random collections of shit. Sweet. And can, can, can we just say, I just give you some of my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bunch. I'm you like, overdid it and bought too much. I bought much, too much yeah. stuff. I bought online. too much shit. And I think we went for the engine boosting system as well. So we pretty much. It. Just fucking yeah, go for it. Yeah, we could. Um, <laughs> we, well, not, I've not went for the ejection system because I feel like that's a sign of giving up. So we're not we're not going basically we're going for everything except the Fuck, that's good. ejection system, I think. Yeah. Oh and the the high output repulsor coils, I don't think we went for them. So how many things did we get? Um we got one, two, three, four, five out of a possible eight. We managed to afford all of it as well that's really good right well this 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 jargos catalog has like sort of very fixed prices obviously not really much room here for bartering and jagging mm. but you you see that these are the prices you're expecting it for and you can yeah if you can afford it you can afford it okay mm. you're given a ticket you guys sit and wait for a wee while whilst you're doing your um you've got your wee ticket and then it comes up with your number on the screen it says order 66 ah, <laughs> yes. token has a flashback <laughs> go oh shit yes <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> um, but yeah it comes up order 66 <laughs> and you get these jowers carrying these fucking massive boxes like eight jowers on each box <laughs> carrying it and like trying to like lift it up onto the counter they can't quite get it up and then they're just and then one of them opens a side door and just throws it out. Can I? Is there any of it damaged? No, I'd, I'd, like, I'd, I'd like to talk to management. <laughs> he points at a thing that says in Arabesh manager. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have it delivered to the hangar? Hangar G? Seven? Seven? G? <laughs> <laughs> it is the seventh letter of the alphabet. There you go. <laughs> I have no idea whether it is the or manager, not. The manager, the manager, EFG. It's, it's actually the yes. manjawa. Me, manjawa. The manjawa looks at you. Manjawa. The manjawa looks at you and he's got and you say, "Yeah, I want it delivered." And he's like, "Take a manjawa." And the rest of the jaws look at him and go, "Ah!" And they yeah. go back out, pick it back up, and they carry it back in. Thank, thank you. And another number comes up, order sixty-seven. <laughs> So you guys leave Jargos and all of you at this point, it's been probably around about, I mean, the wait at Jargos was a fair long time. So it's been about an hour and uh, hour Mm. at this point. You then arrive back at Hangar 7 or arrive at Hangar 7 for the first time. You can see that your two pod racers and two other pod racers, uh, you can see that they are the the possession of uh, Deck and Merlot. Um, Is he named after the wine? Merlot. No, I think I actually got up a name generator, but I like that. He he has oh he doesn't have he has the yellow racer, not the red mm. one. Shame. Mm. But he um he's the guy he, so you can see that these two are both attending to their pod races as well. They're getting a sort of maybe 
it doesn't look so much like these guys may have actually ended up being a bit unluckier than you guys. You arrive and see your pod races. They're actually in pretty decent nick. Mm. These guys look like they've spent some of their money not modifying their thing, but repairing their pod races Ooh. and Fuck. cleaning off the blood. So you Ooh. guys uh, arrive to find them. Character. So they may be making one or two modifications to it, but they definitely don't seem to have had the resources left to them that mm-hmm. you guys did. Okay. Um, Woody is there waiting for you. As I mean, you guys all met <coughs> up and then walked back together. So Woody is there waiting for you with a giant pile of trash oh can I say it's all been strapped like just kind of piled on the the back he's got like some sort of weird net thing that he's Mm. been hooking it up into and there's some sort of very strange cannon looking device that he's left (laughs) by the side of the Mm -hmm. pod racer Um, you have uh, Tokrin recognises as as you and Luna have both purchased one of these as well Um, this being your trash ejection device Mm -hmm. or random scattering device Um, oh no I don't have one of them I just have a big thing of well, you need something to like. Oh, to I was just imagining Woody well. just releases it and then lets all it in go. one go. No, it, 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 no he, he has a cannon that fucking aims. Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> you can see that he's sinking himself to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you guys um, arrive at this point. You now know that you need to attach these modifications to your ship. How many modifications are there in total? Eight. Eight. With you guys, have got eight, and he's got. I've got two. Oh, we know there's there's eight ones you can buy in total. We've got five. You've got five. I've and got you've two. Got two. So there are seven modifications that need to be added. Tokrin, you're the only mechanic here. I paid for someone to do it. <laughs> no, you didn't pay. You paid for it to be delivered. Uh, yeah, installation cost cost extra. Ask. Um, I almost said Virgin, but I thought that might be taken a bit different way. But internet people. Mm. Um, the the however though the um, the we pod. Uh, pit droids that came to deliver your thing are still waiting uh, for payment obviously and some of, some of the Jawas have also arrived awaiting payment uh, if you guys have any money left over you might be able I to do. rope them in I look at them I look at the uh, pit droids and I'm like why are you not um, like attaching it <laughs> they just literally look up at you and don't say anything can you attach it they shake their heads why not and shrug their shoulders can I give you money to attach it? And look at each other. <laughs> and they look back at you and shrug. I'll take that as a yes. They look back at each other. And they look forward at you. <laughs> Nod their head. <laughs> Alright, I give Do them I, I give them money. Them? How much? Did they give me like a... They gave you like a little... It's an con- invoice. It's, contact- it's contactless. <laughs> Alright, I tap the thing to it. Okay, cool. They. Um... Like, that's pretty good. It means it has to be less than 30. Mm. 30 pounds. 30 credits. Well, 30 you Hondo you... credits. Yes, true actually, because you give me mm. the Hondo credits. Um, can you give me a highs or lows? Lows. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it takes the rest of your 30 Hondo credits off. So say you, you pay your, your your Jawas and then you've paid them for mm-hmm. this by this point and now you're trying to haggle them into so it. So it's the rest of my The credits. rest of the credits go off and they just look at you and they put their hand up and go, more. Mm. You all have real credits on you as well and they work here. Mm, I don't. <laughs> Tokrin doesn't. He spent it all on his eye. But no. <laughs> I don't have phone my eye. <laughs> um, I'll give them like another like 200 credits. They nod their head at you. This is incredible for an audio. Good audio, yeah. 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 They just look yeah. at you. This is just nodding. I'm playing and... a droid. It's a silent mm-hmm. droid. They, they nod at you and go, hmm. And then they're like, like, they just like realize neither of them have pockets. And this is physical credits you've given them. And mm-hmm. it's like, you know, they, they, they walk they over, back, they walk over to one of the pod races that's starting up and get the plasma thing. They put the credits near the plasma ray and then just like throw it up in the air and it magnetizes to their bodies and just sticks uh, them. Good. <laughs> Nice. Mm, how strong can I with force move test how strongly they're attached uh, they're pretty strongly attached oh, okay. you, you, you attempting to move them uh, if you give me a, a roll as well just to see if you take conflict for that um, nope one light side that's good yeah you, you actually nudge the droid to the side slightly when trying to so god knows how they're getting them off yeah do you guys want to interact with your jowers at all <clears throat> I'd look at talk room and be like do you think you could you see the hand putting this on or do you think you could it's a lot to put on Turn to the Jawas. It's gonna be a diff. It's gonna be by yourself a daunting check. It's four purple. I look to the Jawas. Can I mean I, from the looks of things, you guys don't seem to like your boss all that much. Fourteen. So I look how, back at the giant pile of stuff they brought. Like you could probably build a pod race around this. So <laughs> how about we can give you some money? You can kick around here and install the things on the ship. Means you don't have to go back to 
what's his face? Amy <laughs> Thompson. <laughs> Which you, look, they point at Tokra and you can tell that they're saying, we help him. Mm-hmm. By that one? Yeah. They look at him and one of them comes up to you and sort of pokes your arm. <laughs> and point at their own eye. <laughs> they want 200 credits. Might as well. Give them 200 credits. Well. Give them 200 credits. You got that in your own pocket, so that's fine. Yeah. You, give them, you give them 200 credits and they, they sort of like hand it out between there's, there's, there's four dr- four jowers there god knows how they got this here probably on a, like a hopper truck or something but they they like give the four um <coughs> the credits the 200 credits out between them 50 each mm-hmm. and then they all go Ta-da-bana. no one tells their manager <laughs> Get! fuck that guy <laughs> <laughs> but yeah they, they they'll all give you a help so basically this is going to be a daunting check but mm-hmm. tokrin i want you to do this with a mechanical check how much have you got for it uh, I've got two yellows and two greens. Two greens. I want you to add one blue and one yellow. Ooh. Mm. Making it up. These jowers are good. And you said it's daunting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So how many purple? That's four. It's <clears throat> pretty daunting. Ooh. Yeah. You oh that. my god. Two triumphs and a success. <laughs> so you install these things you've you've actually ended up with 20 minutes spare you've mm. got you you've tested all of them know all of these work for sure it's mm-hmm. perfectly working and they don't seem to be interfering with each other and you even now have um a chance if you want to go and have a look at some of the other pod races you can tell that the the hangar next to you also has four pod races in it mm. uh which would i think probably round off the the other members of your your group that you're in. Okay. Cad Bane's pod racer at the moment, though, if you look around, isn't to be seen. Of I want to go speak to him. No, he's not. He's here. not to be he's seen. You here. can't find Cad Bane anywhere. The no. Either. He's in, cheeky he, fuck. No. He's, he's still in fucking Hondo's arsehole. Yeah. Right oh! up there. With a pod racer. Fuck. He's. <laughs> That's what the whole whole was. Anally <laughs> disposing. Whole. In his arsehole. His arsehole. Arsehole. Okay, right. Let's let's get. But you have twenty racing. minutes to interact with these other pod racers if you want to. Hey, Uma, yes, my friend, my conflicting <laughs> friend. <laughs> I knew if I mentioned conflict, you would appear. <laughs> I like to imagine that, like in universe, Tokrin Tokrin thinks like we could go sabotage them. That'll be a bad thing to do. And then he, as he thinks that'll be a bad thing to do, he sees me like walking up to an, <coughs> someone's pod, um, pod racer and like looking for things to like take off. <laughs> and he's just like, yep, I think to do. First of all, I would like to search. Who, who else is in here? Um, I said earlier that, that Deck and mm-hmm. Murlo are in here. Can I go over to Deck and kind of inspect his mm-hmm. stuff? So deck seems to be, I mean, it's, it's pretty well repaired at this mm-hmm. point. It doesn't seem to have a huge number of modifications on it, but he's actually eyeing his ship quite closely. Um, you can see that he is being quite mil- militaristic, as you would expect. Mm-hmm. You don't really recognize who this guy mm-hmm. is. Tokrin would expect that this guy's being quite militaristic and quite thorough and meticulous mm-hmm. as he is. Um, you can see that this ship, his ship is quite flamboyant. Um, but actually, it's quite it's quite a f- sort of like frilly shit, more like a supercar style mm-hmm. pod racer thing mm-hmm. rather than. No, it has gen- It has literal frills. Oh, frills mm-hmm. all over the place. Yeah. Um, but yes, you can see that it's quite um, well put together at the moment. Mm-hmm. But you can see that he's loitering around it quite closely. I, I like to imagine Umar starts walking over there. It's like I'm going to mess with something. Sees him looking very serious. It's like no, mm-hmm. I'm not messing with him. Um, and I go over to the other guy. Um, Mula, M- Mulo. Yeah. Mulu. I go over to Mulo. Mulu Mulu yogurts. I go over to Mulu yogurt. That's another gr- British reference, I think. Yeah. Um, or German. Mullen's pretty German. Is it? Oh, it does make sense. Muller is a oh, German. Oh, you mullered it. Anyway, yeah. carry on. Um, I go over to Mulu. Yes. Um, and can, what's what's his ship looking like? His pod racer. Mulu. He's the same species as Hondo. Mm-hmm. He doesn't be, look to be paying a huge amount of attention. He's got some... He's too busy eating a sandwich. He fucking is. Mm-hmm. He's eating a Subway. He's got, <laughs> like... He's <laughs> and not a very well put subway. together Subway either. He's got some pit droids helping him as well, and they're sort of putting stuff together. Um, as you walk up, they sort of just look at you and then nod their heads. Mm-hmm. And then they sort of get back to work and they're sort of just bolting things on. Cool. It looks okay, but it still looks like yeah. it's needing a little bit of repairing. Um, so is there any sort of like obvious bits? So like what are the sort of like 
working well, parts. Well, he's got one of these, he's got the long, really big, large cylindrical engines mm-hmm. and stuff. They've got big fans at the front of them, cables that attach it to the rear body. Yeah. You can see where the plasma uh, the plasma linkages would, will go. Uh, the one, it's one across the centre. Mm-hmm. There's a few different things here that you could look, you cool. could mess with the engines, the cables, the plasma, the body. Cool. So, you know the plasma bits? Yes. Did, when do they activate? Are they activated when now? En- on engine startup. On engine startup. When. Do I know in a pod race when the engines start? At the beginning of the race. At the beginning of the race. So they say go and they turn no, on. No, no, it's, it's like as you're about to start, the engines start okay, and the cool. plasma will come on. Um, I have an idea. So I would like to. So mm-hmm. can I say Woody's nearby? Yeah. Yes. And I put the... I haven't yet put the frag grenades in him. <laughs> oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would like to get one frag grenade. Um, and oh I would God, like I to... Know. I want to just go up and start talking to Muller. No, me. Me. Uh, oh, so Muller's well, like, hello. The hello there, Muller. So I'm just trying to get to know everybody. You know, because this race, it's not like, um, you know, it's like not. So the last one, I didn't really want to know anybody because I was potentially going to have to kill them. But in this one, we don't. Nobody has to die. So I was just uh, like, uh-huh. what's your story? Like, uh, nice to meet you. I'm Titan. Okay, I accidentally ate a sandwich. One day, oh, it's not good. And now I am in the death. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Oh, I'm only got really the working for Hondo because I'm the same species. You got uh, that's fair enough. Like you know, you yeah, gotta stick gotta, together. Huh? Gotta stick together. I think Twilex were never very nice to me, to be honest. But oh, yeah. Is that what you are? Yes, I am. Um, I want to say during this conversation, can I be force moving a frag grenade through the air very slowly yeah, into a, one of the plasma give intakes? Give me a force check okay. and then give me a mechanical check with one purple. Cool. So four check. Kind of obvious is... way. Oh no, two purple with difficulty because you're trying to okay. no one purple, one black. Let's say. Cool. Because um, you're, you're trying to do it behind your back whilst yeah. talking to him as well. Well, no, I want to like I want. I'm not doing it behind my back. I'm like slowly moving my hand, and it's like behind him, I'm, and I'm floating it up towards. Basically... I'm going to give him a vigilance check. To be fair, because okay. he's going to have to be able to figure out. Mm-hmm. Well, have a chance to figure out what you're doing. They cancel out. So that that works out as one advantage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did he get? What? Wait, why are you trying to get to know me? Because, like, I'm a, just a friendly person, you know? I like to know people. Okay, so during this conversation, it seems a bit awkward. He seems to sort of not really be paying attention yeah. to you. You hear a sort of clunk, and he mm-hmm. sort of turns his head, and then you, you sort of like get hold of him again and mm-hmm. get conversations. You know, I just want to get to know you. And he's like, oh, okay. You think you've got it in, mm-hmm. you not, can't be sure. Okay. You're not really able to eye it as you walk away. Yeah. Merlo seems a bit like really confused and a bit off with you because he, mm. well, who knows? He just it's very strange to mm-hmm. come up and talk to the person that in the next round you might have to kill. Yeah. Uh, I mean, in this round tried to kill, but mm. he seems a bit off and he just obviously doesn't like you being totally part of this competition. Well. <laughs> yeah. No, because basically, I'm imagining that so his oh, yeah, engines trying to kill. <laughs> his, no, his engines are way in the front. Yeah, ahead mm-hmm. of him. Cool. Engine start up. Plasma hits the frag grenades, blows up one of his engines. He doesn't even get off the starting line. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it would make James' you walk, job easier. You yeah. walk back over to your uh-huh. your character, over to the other characters, Tokrin and Luma. At this point, of the twenty minutes have come to a close, and one of the characters yeah. comes up to one of the the wee guys comes up to you and goes, "Come on, uh, <laughs> put you back. Uh, oh, no. Race is about to begin. Um, we're gonna." Send in the pit joints to transport your your races out onto the start finish line. Um, you ready? I can't look at you while I you're think, doing can this I just, voice. Can I just try and like I want to try it out? I haven't sat in it yet. And just get a bit comfortable well, adjusting my seat. Sit in it as they take you out. Oh, there, perfect. You I, I'm gonna go and get you're in. You've not got now. legs. I mean, he looks at one of your mechanical legs. Like, your so. prosthetic leg. It goes. Oh, sorry. Uh, Don't worry. Shit, <laughs> that's I, such an offensive I point play. over. I point over at Tokrin and I go, He's got to use more. Have you not got legs to a fucking disabled person? Yeah. Um, but I, I, I point, he says that. He's like, oh, sorry. And I'm like, Don't worry about it. He cut it off and I point over at Tokrin. Oh, fuck. So he did. Is, he, is that why you joined the competition? Vengeance. No, we, we've got we, a couple of no, them. No, we're in the Maximus and Minimus. We're actually in the. Uh, I met Maximus and Minimus. Guys. They're fucking. They were. You know. Oh, I'm supposed to be kind of working for both of them. Forgot about that. Um, so did I. They're yeah. supposed to be in this race. Oh no. Good. But, but, um, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, he's. I'm. I'm in the same team as him. He's my friend, kind of. 
Um, more like Which a mentor. One? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes, uh, I'm gonna go get in for my. Go uh, I climb up. And I want to sit into it and I want to like kind of adjust my seat. Um, and just, I, I look at the seatbelt and I like just go nah and just cut it off, oh, throw it out. Why? Um, and that's my ejection system because I'm not held in. So if it, we crash, I just get thrown out of the crash. <laughs> Okay, now you will take system. damage. Yeah, I know. Your ejection system is not wearing a seatbelt. Yeah. Well, no. The ejection system rules. James bonded that, I think. The ejection system rules has a thing for taking damage, and I have to do quite a hard check, so I will be taking damage. He sees you do that. He's a bit confused. Comes up and just, just so you know, controls are there. Left. Turn to the left goes left. Turn to the right goes right. Spinning. Not a good idea. <laughs> right. Very good. Right. Take him out. At this point, the doors sort of open up to the hangar yeah. and the pit droids transport your 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 um pod races out onto this start finish line you can see that you're right up at the top of this long straight um and at the bottom you can see a left hand turn there is a large set of grandstands either side of this straight with a large number of people you sort of the same people that would have been watching you during this mm -hmm. during the first round and and during the uh awarding of your pod races in the first place and they're all cheering and going mental and you can hear commentator's voice over the top of all of it announcing the beginning of this race uh, all eight pod racers are brought up to different positions and at this point I would like what we're going to do is uh, there's an initiative order in this system yeah it, you use cool same as combat to, to dictate it but I instead of it being um you know, just how fast you are off the line, I'm going to put it as what position you are on ah. the racetrack when you start. Yeah. Rather cool. than you're being in things. So if you can give all of your cool checks now, that would be really, really good. Fantastic. Cool. Two successes and two advantages. Mm. Two successes, three advantages. Three successes, two advantages. Fantastic. So, as you all... Uh, are arranged up on the starting grid mm -hmm. you can see and uh, right at the beginning right at the front is Cad Bane's orange pod racer mm -hmm. next to him so equally next to him on the, on the racer but just maybe slightly behind is Deck then directly behind Cad Bane on the left hand side is just a bit further back than Deck is is Luna and Topgrin's pod racer mm. next to them on we the right hand side we are the finger <laughs> no, sorry. I... Apparently, Luna is anyway. She just like put her fingers up to the whole room. I was giving Cad B in the finger. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> but you can't see it anyway because he's looking sitting. forward. He's the first. But then that's it. It's like he's in front of us, so you can't see us like doing the uh, loud. <laughs> it's on a big star screen that's in front oh, of him. You can see him doing... <laughs> Wanker. But behind, next to you guys on the right hand side is, is Geralt. Then behind you is Uma. To the right of him. You turn around, you just see like the most ramshackle thing. I just put my hand up, like, <laughs> like put a big thumb up, like it's gonna go great. <laughs> to the right of him is, is Mwerlu. <laughs> you see Woody like duct taping himself <laughs> into so, the race. So you can see Mwerlu on your right hand side. Uh, behind you, Uma, is Wendell and Axel, and to their right is Clep. So it's sort of like the left person is slightly further ahead than the right person, and then next row back, mm. next row back. Same as F1, okay. if you've ever seen that. So before we start, yes. can I I want to pass my gun to Uma, not Uma. Uma. No, sorry. Tokren. <laughs> I want to pass my gun to Tokren as I assume driving is going to take two hands. I'll yes. Pass my <laughs> just driving one hand, massive sniper rifle in the other. <laughs> just sniper rifle on the other side. Yeah. A full Terminator style. Um, pass it off to Tokren and be like, if you get a chance take some people out on the road don't fucking drop it <laughs> yeah. you drop it and I oh kill you <laughs> right. how does this game work do I need proficiency or anything for that no no it has you a strap need, you it'll need have to have strap. ranks in rank just keep the strap what do you on. use for it range light I use ranged heavy range heavy I've so. got three greens yeah. oh you're gonna be good <laughs> is that good or bad what have you got I have two yellows and a green mm. okay it's better how is that better yes but not awful from you yeah, just in case, just just in the off chance that we get, yeah. if someone's close to us, and you can just be like pew pew, pew pew. That's gonna be talking, <laughs> talking pew pew. So yes, you guys are all lined up on the racetrack. You've got the crowd roaring. Hondo is you, is visible on the screen with a big checkered flag, and then as 
the crowd like rises, you can see these red lights, one after the other, appear until five are illuminated in front of the pot racers. As the flag comes down in Hondo's hand, all of the lights go green. 